Hey everybody, what's going on? Your host AMF1534 here. Do you remember this house at all? For it's been a little while since we've been here, so welcome back to the Johnson Family Ranch. And welcome back to Let's Play some more Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Last episode got pretty exciting, actually, if you think back on it. We got run off a cliff, we were swimming like 40 miles... Had a, we witnessed a murder as another car came flying off the cliff. And then when we got back on dry land, we went and stole a tanker truck with Catalina, who, after somebody mentioned it, she's totally the main antagonist of Grand Theft Auto 3. Like, that's the fucking lady at the end of the game that you end up having to kill. So, totally mind-blow. I never even made that connection. So, how awesome is that? Ooh. Well, let's see what we got here. Yeah. Carl. Who was this? You know me. This is the truth. No. Whose voice is that? That sounds so familiar. They said you were a moron. Who? Okay, you can drop the act now, kid. You the police? No. We have a mutual friend and business nice partner. We do? Who? Yes. Have you killed any cops lately? Oh man, Ten Penny. I should've known. That asshole. So I've got a room at a motel in Angel Pine. Make sure nobody follows you. Okie dokie. Well, then I'll make sure nobody follows me. This sounds intriguing. I am I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this one. But I guess I'm going to have to feel some way about it because we're going to be doing missions with this guy, I assume. Alright, well, first of all, really quick, just because we lost some progress with it, I, I think it would be a good idea for us to go see what's up with Denise because... You know, we haven't seen her in a little while, and I'll bet she's probably thirsting for the old, uh, for the old Carl Johnson Rodsky here, so... We should... Oh. She's not home? Well, where the hell would she be? What the hell is she doing for a living that involves her not being home when I decide to come and see her? Yeah, that's right, I'll back into a police car, I don't even feel bad about it. You know, a lot of people, they keep shooting at me. Obviously, they're really not very happy with what I... with me, you know, dipping out and everybody being in jail, but that's not, that is not my fault, you know? I'm the one that had to clean up the mess that everybody else got into. Okay, so we need to go around here. Dude, I, I like, a, this is gonna sound really lazy as all hell, and it totally is, but I just woke up. Like, not, not for the first time, like, this, this isn't my first time waking up today. Um, but... I I made so, I made like a, a good old fashioned two o'clock p.m. breakfast earlier, and I made some corned beef hash and eggs with like some English muffins and a banana. And dude, within like 25 minutes of eating that thing, it knocked me the hell out so fast. I went and sat on I went and sat in the recliner chair, and within minutes, I I I look at my at my clock, and it's already like 5:30 p.m. And I'm like, dude, come on! HALF OF MY DAY HAS BEEN WASTED! But, oh, it was so good, though. There is, there are not a lot of better things in this world than corned beef, hash, and eggs. With other, you know, variable side options with it. Dude, it's, ah, oh, it's money. Like, breakfast is just, there, there's always a good excuse to have breakfast. Like, not at the regular hour for that. Like, I did, uh, last night, my dinner, I went, uh, to, like, this little 24-hour diner. And I had a, uh... Let's see, it was a hot pepper cheese, green chili, and sausage omelet, and it was money. I I think that I'm just, I'm a breakfast guy, and it's really weird because, like, I never eat breakfast on time. Like, like nine times out of ten, I will not eat breakfast during the course of the day. Like, I'll usually, because I wake up at, like, 10, 30, or 11, and by the time I get to work, it's, you know, I end up not eating until it's already, you know, close to 2 o'clock, and that's, that's usually lunchtime right there. So, whenever I get the opportunity for breakfast, man, I take full advantage of that shite, because you just have to. Alright, where is where is Angel Pine at, anyways? Like, I don't even know exactly where that is. I just assume that we're... Is it here? I don't really know. Oh, that's where those, that's where those trucking missions were at. Yeah, the ones that we did last time with Catalina. As totally creepy as that was. Bacco Beyond. It's kind of a weird area. Batman Beyond, you know? I never really got into the Batman Beyond series, to be honest with you. It's just, uh, ah, it's all the way back. Dude, it's all the way back in Whetstone? Are you nuts? All right, all right. Boy, that is going to be a long way to go to get back that way. Well, hold on a minute. We need to, we need to find a different, we need to get up on that freeway right here then. And we're going to, because I am going to take the weird, slidey, 
awful post NASCAR race backwards option here. God, just get me up on this thing, my good God. Man, this car, it it needs some work in the category of being able to drive. Here we go. Smoking! Alright, oh, okay. Now we're good, I think. Are we good? I don't think we're good. No, we're good. Okay, we're awesome. Awesome. This is this is grand. So I read about something the other day, and it never really it never really uh, sparked my interest until I decided to read it again today because somebody posted something about it. And <laughs> apparently, one of the one of the Power Rangers in one of these newer like season ninety four uh, installments of Power Rangers totally he got arrested for murdering his roommate with a sword. And then I found out later that the charges got dropped. Like, and I'm sitting here thinking to myself, like, what the hell? Like, who drops the charges against a guy for that? Like, apparently what happened is, uh... Apparently he and his roommate got into some sort of scuffle or something. And then, all of a sudden, the guy just decides he's gonna go totally postal on this. And just totally stabs the guy right in the abdomen with a sword. And then he died. And, like, that was the end of it. And so I- oh, no. Oh god! Oh jeez! Holy smokes! Okay, I'm getting a phone call real quick. Gosh, this, it's chaos out here. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. Random phone calls will always get you. So, yeah, dude, it was, uh... I'm just like, I'm, I'm sitting here trying to think to myself, like, what could they have possibly been arguing about that would have ended up with that? <laughs> like, was his roommate, like, pulling out one of those, ooh, one of those, like, abrasive you know, discussions of, hey, it's like, and I, whoa, jeez, oh, oh no, 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 get out of the car, get out of the car, Carl, we are not doing this again, we are not doing that again, I'm getting another phone call, you've got to be kidding me, all right, I'll be right back, hold on, okay, that's the last time it's going to happen today, I swear, <laughs> oh, I hate when phone calls happen, because like, it, whoa, jeez, God, slamming right into the old Bill Walton mobile right there. But yeah, like, I, I'd have to imagine the only thing that I can think... What is wrong with these people? Like, this, these guys are just like... They're like martyrs out there. It's just insanity. These guys are just like... They're driving with no sort of reserve at all. They're just like, Get out of the way! I gotta get to the diner now! Hey! Oh yeah, see that see that wasn't very much fun. That guy actually got out of the way. I wanted to join in on the fun, they wouldn't let me. But the only thing I could think of in, in regards to like how that argument could have started like and gotten to that level was maybe like his roommate like he was like, Hey, hey, who do you think the best Power Ranger is? And he's like, Well obviously mine, I'm the Red Ranger, I'm fucking awesome. And he's like, Well you know what? Like, I've got a weird feeling that the Green Ranger could probably beat you in a fight and then they start doing the No he wouldn't. Well yeah, he probably would. No, he wouldn't. Yes, he would. Well, would the would the Green Ranger do this? And he just pulls out the sword and just like runs him through and impales him. And he's like, <coughs> No, he wouldn't. You're right. <coughs> he just like straight up goes over and dies. And the guy's like, Oh shit. Wait a minute. I just realized I'm not in a TV show right now, and I can't stab people and have them come back later. I'm going to go to prison. And then to like to think on another on another note. <laughs> You get in motel. On another note, like, he goes and kills that guy, and they don't press charges? Like, are you nuts? Like, why would the family not be like, you ran, you ran my son and or husband through with a sword. Like, fuck you, you're totally going down. Hello? And Officer Tenpenny's smoking Hello, weed. That is great. <sighs> I can see this happening. I could definitely see this happening. Check this shit out. Have here. Yo, Carl. What up, kid? Hey, what's happening? Oh, uh, is this undercover training? Oh, no, you must be off duty. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Hush up, man. Mr. Truth here is going to be supplying you with some of the finest. <laughs> we and you are going to. It's pretty to impressive that he could get a good smoke off of that, considering that his mouth was really nowhere near that thing. You're hallucinating his shit. What? Oh. Yo, true. Come here, man. This guy, huh? Welcome, friend.
This is the this is the so, man, huh? Girl here is gonna be paying you your money. <sighs> what you talking about? Now, Carl, I got a real do good of fucking with me, and I want you to take this evil green poison and drop it on it. <laughs> it's gonna ruin that asshole's career. Oh, bullshit. Okay, I was gonna say, is there any is there any point that he's gonna exhale that, or is he just like sucking it all in? For me, man. I got a jet. I gotta pull someone over for something that they totally didn't do that I imagined all up in my brain. And I'm going to light this apartment on fire because of the fact that I left the bong laying on the floor while it's still hot. What are you, dude? FBI? DEA? Nah, I'm more like a private investigator. Friend, you give off a positive energy. How about some Vietnamese opium? Yes, please. I'll get down with that. Why not? But how do I know I Dude, that'd be awesome it? if they ended up doing that. Have, like, everything well, be, like, totally you, disorienting and all the piece. colors totally That's messed up. Squares across that ridge are not respecting my piece. I mean, survivalist maniacs, right-wingers, fascists. They have a harvester, and I need one. Get it, then you can pay me. Well, unless you're wanting a very small amount of money. What that mean? Then it's not gonna happen. Did they just spell that incorrectly? Because I'm pretty sure the term is namaste, not amaste. Unless I didn't see it correctly. That may be that may be what it is. So we need to go get a combine. Are you are you serious? We're gonna go bring a combine back to a motel. Oh, Grand Theft Auto, you are full of surprises, my friend. Yeah, dude, I I, I would love to sit in on that court hearing. Be like, okay, so you want to run me through exactly what happened here? Well, we were arguing, and I figured that I didn't want to hear him bitching about my my role in the Power Rangers anymore, and so I took matters into my own hands and uh, ran him through with a samurai sword, and that was the end of it. <laughs> and she's like, "You know what? That's just awesome. You're not even—we're not even going to charge you. Just whatever. <laughs> if you're the Red Ranger and you can actually bring yourself to the point of killing a man with a sword, then you know you what—you deserve to get away with it. <laughs> so we're going to let you." Uh, I mean, maybe, maybe that's. Uh, I wish I wouldn't have uh, had my sword stolen out of my car a couple years ago. Because I mean, if if the Power Rangers can run people through with it and not and not get arrested, I mean, obviously I could totally do the same thing. Now, let's just see exactly where we're going here. Because okay, we need to just go right over here. Otherwise, that is going to be in it. Whoa, that looks like a face. That's creepy. It's like an owl's head. Okay, well, maybe we can just drive a straight across, I don't know, because I really don't feel like going all the way up and down this crazy, like, inverted sausage link thing here, just to, uh, just to get there. So we're gonna, tr we're gonna take this approach and see, see what we can find out of it. I don't think I like this little place. No, not at all. That is not a place I'm interested in. Not in the least. I just, you know, for me personally, like, I don't know how people could live out in the country like this. Is that a cave? What the fuck is this over here? Wait a minute. This is like a mine. <laughs> Getting a hand job from a miner. Oh, not, not, not a miner. A miner. Like, whoa. A grown man who works in a mine. Oh my god. Okay, we're going the wrong way here. We need to, we need to, we need to get over the ledge here. Everything's gonna be all good. Now we're in Leafy Hollow. Are we getting closer? We're actually not getting closer. We are going the wrong direction. No! Ah, fine. You know, I got a weird feeling that we're not gonna get where we need to go the way that I'm trying to do this. Oh shit. Oh god. Oh boy. Okay. Oh boy. Okay. Well, wait a minute. What what happens if we drive through here? I I I I'm kind of intrigued now. Can't say that I've ever driven through these before, and I'm absolutely going the wrong way in doing that. I shouldn't be doing that. That's not a smart idea. All right. Let's go back the other way again. I apologize. This is this really this <laughs> this particular uh, in transit motion here really got away from me fast. If I can finally get my ass out of here, I will get I will get back on the Whoa! What in the world? 
That thing is flying extremely fast. There's, w there's no way that thing was just a plane. There's no way. Like, was that like a UFO or something? I mean, there's a full moon out there. Uh, it wouldn't surprise me in the in the least if if that were you know what was going on. I mean, San Andreas is a is a strange place. You never know what you're gonna find. But that was that was pretty wacky. Like that thing was that thing was really that thing was cooking with sausage. You know, that thing was whoa. That was impressive that he just pulled that off with a camera in his hand. Oh baby. He yeah, oh, oh, oh! Well, I guess I clipped one. These little motorcycle riders are they're crafty little buggers, man. Those those guys get away from you. Okay, dude, those stars are huge. Those things don't even look like stars. They look like the UFOs that were in signs, like just the big glowing white orbs. That's what they that's what they look like to me. Okay, so let's let's check this out. Are we? Yeah, I mean it's not it's not my ideal way to do this, but we're just gonna have to go all the way around. I'm kind of hoping that this ends up leading to uh, you know to some the uh, the eventual discharge of firearms because we haven't really done that in a little bit. I mean we drove away from some from some dudes with a uh, with a tanker full of oh boy oh man all right I need to be a lot more careful with that. <laughs> I'm not trying to. Not trying to drive this semi off the cliff. That that would not be that would not be one of the ultimate ideas for me to be doing here. But we'll do this. Yeah, look at that shortcut. That was actually really well executed. I was afraid we were gonna like drive that thing down there and then flip it upside down or something. But we done did it. We done did it the right way. Hey yo. Man, there's a lot of cars right over there. Oh, no. Okay, so we just need to go up here and then hang a left. Sounds good to me. And by hang a left, I don't mean hang a left the way that they're thinking. We are going to hang a left this way. If we can get up there. Oh, no. Oh, couldn't get up there. So we're just going to block off the road. We're going to get a car that can handle that, and then we're going to do it. Uh-huh. Yep. Come to Papa. Uh-huh. Out you go. And we're taking the the old perennial for a spin. Okay, so we just gotta go up here. By the way, that factory out there looks uh, rather creepy. That looks like something straight out of a like a paranormal activity movie or anything involving, you know, like slashers or whatever. <laughs> the hash slinging slasher. Okay, all this work just to go get a combine. What? There's another one of those things. Look at how fast it's going. That's freaking creepy. I mean, San Andreas just laden to the brim with uh, with extraterrestrials, you know? I mean, E.T. phone home, there was no signal, so now he's just going there. You are getting a collect call from E.T. Would you like to accept? Nope. <laughs> E.T. would like to leave a message. Fuck you. Okay, here we go. Holy crap. That thing is huge. Am I seriously going to have to drive that little bastard all the way back? They will not take kindly to any strangers. Well, guess what? I'm sure these survivalists probably don't have guns on them. So, we'll just see... We'll just see how that goes over. Never in my life did I think that we were going to be stealing a combine as a mission. You go to the wrong farm, boy. Wait, why would, why would, why would Carl look like a guy that would be on a country club? Because I'm not seeing it. Ah, I see. I see where this is going. Yeah, get the hell out of the way. Don't know, but it looks kind of shifty. Roll them in some big shit. Yeah. You want to you wanna mess around? Because I'm sure that you don't. You do not want to mess around with the Carl Meister. Oh, I guess they did want to mess around with the Carl Meister. We got to go. We have got to go and up and over. Come on, Carl. What are you doing, you dumbass? No. Ah. Oh, my. I was going to say, for a second there, I almost forgot how to... Sh oh, my God. We're... Oh, <laughs> 
I like totally forgot how to shoot. I'm sitting here flapping my gums about, oh man, I really want to be able to shoot people. And then we totally did nothing. We just spent 21 minutes doing absolutely nothing outside of getting lost. That was just great. That was about 50 shades of stupid. Alright, well let's at least go buy some more guns and then when we come back next time we'll, we'll go out and, and take care of this whole mess again. At least we're already here though. At least we're not going to have to drive you know 500 miles all the way back over here again. But what a mess, man. I really didn't think that those guys were going to have guns. I feel like those uh, farm survivalists would have been the types that would have been like, eh, I don't need guns. You never get any people out here anyways. Oh, I'm going to. Next episode, we are going to kick incredible amounts of ass because these guys had it coming. You know? Have fun. <laughs> Man, that advertisement that was over on the PA was, was pretty serious. Like, that would have made me want to buy it. You will shoot him and his brains will splatter all over the pavement. Alright, so let's let's go jump in here and then when we come back on the next episode of Let's Play Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, we will at least get somewhere. I, I apologize for the complete lapse of any sort of progress at all, but hey. You know, it was bound to happen at some point. I, I, I am not a perfect being, and uh, that was going to happen. So when we come back, we are not going to do that, and we're going to win, because I said so. So until then, my friends, this is AMF saying thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Go, go, Power Rangers!